I'm Carl Van Ness and I am the university's official historian. I also am a member of the faculty of the George A. Smathers Libraries and have been a member of the faculty since 1988. There are a lot of things related to the University of Florida that most people don't know. Uh, for one, uh, the University of Florida was not always located in Gainesville, Florida. It was located in Lake City. The Buckman Act of 1905 created a situation where uh, the university could be moved. We are the only state in modern history to have moved its university from one location to another. The University of Florida always envisioned having some type of um, a bell tower on campus. So the idea was that you would walk onto the campus, onto the Plaza of the Americas, and there you would face this, this massive administration building with a bell tower in the middle. Uh, that didn't happen after World War II. They decided to build the administration building on, on 13th Street. We think that the original school colors were not blue and orange, but blue and gold. There was a song, it was almost kind of like an alma mater type song, uh, that spoke about the blue and the gold. So we think that gold was the actual uh, color, but eventually we decided it was orange. <laughs> When the University of Florida opened in September of 1906, uh, the only two buildings available were Buckman Hall and Thomas Hall. So those are the two oldest buildings. Uh, both of them were built as dormitories. Over the years, the, the campus expanded uh, and more buildings were built. Uh, but it really isn't until after like World War II that you see this really dramatic uh, expansion of the campus. If you walk around the historical part of campus, it's really confined to a very small area. We've over the years collected a number of objects. We have the rat caps that were worn by the freshmen. We have a biscuit from 1913, allegedly mailed to somebody in Georgia. I have my doubts about that. It says 1913, and it says it's from the University of Florida Mess Hall. Uh, my favorite object in the, uh, in the archives, though, is a commemorative glass from a football game played by the Florida State College and the University of Florida in 1904. This is back when the University of Florida was still in Lake City. Now, I'm sad to say that Florida State actually won that game, but we actually have the commemorative glass here. The University Archives is located in Smathers Library. We are open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6. Uh, anytime uh, you want to come in and visit the University Archives, feel free to do so. There's a lot of information here in, in the University Archives that uh, probably be of uh, interest to anybody who uh, wants to know more about the history of the institution.